Hey everyone, and uh, welcome back to Tower of Guns? So, something weird happened. So, on the last run, I, I died. I had to kill myself because I was stuck. Okay, Joe the developer of Tower of Guns. 20th run, like a milestone, here's some gifts to give you a good run. So, apparently, based on how many runs I've done, I'm starting with a huge bonus in Cake Town. Never been to Cake Town before, but this is kind of cool. It's, I mean, I wouldn't say frustrating, because it does mean that this run is going to be uh, probably especially overpowered or extremely difficult, depending if this actually has like a bearing on things. But it's kind of a, a neat bonus level to go on from, and it's also a neat way to not quite recoup our losses after the last run, but... Oh, sneaky, sneaky. There's more than uh, one thing on this level. Awesome. Alright, so normally I would take the elevator down, but... And we should have triple jump. Nope. Okay, I did not fall to my death. Yeah! New gun! Oh, yes! You know what that means? That means we uh, completed a level without taking damage. Cake down is technically uh, like level zero, and if you complete it without taking damage, which should be automatic, you uh, you get the last gun. Yes. So uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be reading the flavor text. I would very much like to, but you know what? I'm happy now, and I you know what? In celebration, I'm going to continue Hugbot Love. Round two. And whoa. That's that's a new one. So we've got a giant spiky ball wheel of death. Which actually not that concerning. Uh as long as you just kinda get out of the way at first. But we do have a lot of these guys, but not so bad. Massive splash damage means uh no problem Jose. I d I don't know. There's no real name that rhymes with it. No problem, it's just like no problemo. No. Uh, no problem, no problem, Jose? I don't know. My my catchphrases are particularly terrible in this game, and really all games. I am not a catchphrasey person. I am not, uh, to quote Aeolus, a professional quote maker. And if you don't know who Aeolus is, don't look it up. It's not worth it. He was just some really stupid guy that thought he was the smartest man on the planet on Reddit, and got a lot of shit for it. But, you know what? Tips Fedora casually, let's go back to shooting things and not talking about weird people on the internet, even though, I mean, realistically, at this point, I would classify myself as some kind of variety of weird person on the internet. So we've got a speed boost over there, a bunch of spin bots coming to uh, devour my bacon. Uh, it's not quite a great phrase either, but I kind of like it nonetheless, because, I mean, it's my my bacon, goddammit, and I, I earned it. And by earned it, I mean I did 20, 20 rounds, all of them losses, technically. Or, actually, no, since, since this is my repetitive... Well, not my repetitive save, but this is my old save carried over. It actually does have a pair of wins thrown in. Let's get this nice, fancy speed boost and be on our way. Now, I think I was mentioning this a while back, but in Binding of Isaac, you really don't want to pick up speed boost because after a certain point, it becomes impossible to control yourself. In this game, speed boosts are like the best thing ever, and I'm sure like there's an upper limit of how fast uh, you should not be going, but I definitely haven't hit the point before where it's just like, I am going too fast. So... Let's go in and let's see who are we fighting today. Oh, it's you. So, I don't like this boss. I have extreme problems with him and he might kill me, which is going to be extremely unfortunate because here's the problem. I might kill myself before I kill him. There we go, okay. Oh shoot, Spinbot almost took me out. So, the problem I have with that boss is the only way to really fight him is if you have crazy high speed pickups, or, or, you have, uh, well, you get up close. And that is a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, because, if you didn't notice, I had to be up close. Okay, so the flavor text read, uh, the first word is just bro, bro, and then no bro. Let's get a hug from the hug, hot, uh, hug from the hug, uh, 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 I've lost my ability to speak. 
I think the uh, sight of a, you know, friendly Hugbot and a sad Hugbot. Here, let's make them both happy. There we go. Yeah, the sight of the Hugbots makes me lose my ability to speak properly. But yes, let's get a comforting hug from the Hugbots and then continue through. Hey, we beat the stage on par, too. Awesome. I guess uh, even if we were going to have difficulties with the uh, Rambot, I don't, I don't remember the names of the bosses. But I just, I guess, think of it as the Taurus demon in my head. Is there any more bro messages? Bro, 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 bro. Awesome. Not even words need, uh, need not apply here. This is just the bro run. But too bad it is Hugbot Love Part 2. I've already determined that that is what this run is going to be called, and that's okay by me. So I actually really like the big explodey guys. They don't actually do that much damage. They do pose a semi potential threat to your weapon level, but if you can at least only get hit by them once or like in a minimal or tertiary manner, I guess tertiary isn't the right, right word, but more or less if you only get ten gently hit by them, it's not the right word either. Whatever. Words, words can go deal with it. So there's a secret area up there, but no way do I have enough of a jump to get up there and I don't see any kind of boost. And hopping in the lava, uh, as much as I would like it to, you know, do the whole cartoon maneuver of you hit the lava and instead of, you know, sinking in and dying horribly, you, holy balls, what is this? What kind of nonsense room is this? All right, so we've got a couple of laser things that seem to have a lot, mm. I don't even know what I, oh, I passed through the, okay. So this is a concerning room. Ah, uh, and I'm gonna get back to my cartoon lava jump maneuver thing in a second, but this is actually one of the scarier rooms I've ever been in, if only because of just massive amounts of lasers. I really, really wish we had crazy magnetism right now because we could actually get up probably to weapon level five without trying too hard. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yes, we did. Uh, unfortunately, we took a little bit of damage on lava and there's that, uh, nope. There aren't even health pickups over there. Well, you know what? We're up to weapon level five, so as long as we're not hitting ourselves, I have confidence that we can at least get through this level. I really wish I could get some my help. <laughs> get my hands up. Oh, it's this room again. We meet again, my mortal enemy. All right, so luckily, since we've got a weapon level five gun, more or less everything is just bacon to us. And, you know, I, I don't like people coming after our bacon, but you know what? In this case, I am the bacon hunter, and I will hunt all the bacon, and those are some very, very welcome sights. And apparently you can get stuck on the level architecture, just on the lip of that thing. I'm gonna try and- oh, I didn't even pick that guy up. Yes, alright, we're almost- well, we're pretty much up to what we would have for full health if we didn't have the health pickup. Are there gonna be any enemies? Nope. So it looks like the secret for that area is just a couple of coins, and we're not gonna make the same mistake as last time, even if I'd like to, I guess, not bug test it. I, I really wish I could save in the middle of the run just to test this out, but I would like to, you know, give the purple teleporter a second shot just to see if it... Oh, shit. Okay, because it would be interesting to see if the purple teleporter bug that I ran into the last run was a consistent thing or a once in a while thing. Anyway, back to the uh, cartoon lava thing. So, you know how when you're watching a cartoon and, you know, you fall into the fire or you fall into the lava, or not you, but like whatever uh, whatever cartoon character is falls into the fire or lava and they immediately kind of like bounce back up in a comedic fashion away from the, the fire, lava, whatever you, you want to call it. And, you know, are generally unharmed except for their, you know, pants burning. Pretty simple, right? Well, hmm. Damn. Okay, there's some health pickups over there that would be a very welcome sight, but I can't get up there. There's also something even higher but I do not want to tilt because this is a room with a purple teleporter thing. But yeah, so I, I wish in this game that if you, like, you know, landed your ass in the lava, you'd go shooting up instead, kind of as, like, a painful jump pad, but still a jump pad nonetheless. So this is one of those rooms that concerns me greatly, only because if I get too close to the golden light, I am probably a dead man, because as slow as those bullets move, they would still, uh, I guess, track me as I fly... Oh, and unfortunately, oh, I can get these pickups at least. I was going to say, it's like, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get all the pickups, but looks like I lucked out. They don't, they don't disappear as fast as I thought. It's also one of the first runs we've done in a while where I've actually been able to get rid of as much as, uh, as much money as I possibly could, which is awesome. 
Unfortunately, I'm never going to get those pickups either. We got a couple of ET guns and a couple of pizza launchers. So I'm going to get my ass over here, see if I can get it down, deal with the ETs in a second. Because, uh, oh, we got we got some ETs over there. So I'm going to see if I can take them out while strafing, because I don't think their projectiles are affected by gravity. Yeah, they aren't. But then again, I think there's only like one instance we've ever run into it. Oh, it's the slowy stuff. The slowy stuff will affect projectiles, but not. Critical hit. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, hello. There are a couple of pizza launchers back here, too, or saw blade launchers or whatever you want to call them. Anyway, so we have a couple of power ups over here, largely useless to us. But yep, they all disappeared anyway. And more coinage. And we've got one of my favorite things to bellyache about. I don't know if that's like an area that I can, I should go down and explore if it's just an area. So every time I ever run into one of these, I feel like I shoot myself in the foot, but my curiosity always gets the better of me and... Item charge rate plus plus, completely useless to us, but, but it's not a difficulty plus plus, so I am, you know what? I'm gonna call that a win. So we've got arrows down here. Now that might mean there's something right here, can't tell. But, it, oh, hello. I've never been down here. This is neat. So there's something here. I don't know what that something is. I really hope it's not a shop for once, because unlike usual, I'm actually kind of poor. So, oh, I see. That, that bites a little bit. All right, so we're going to tilt back, because apparently this is how you get to the boss room. So the level, ar uh, the level architecture for this room is slightly different from usual, as in, instead of going, you know, backwards this direction over this lip and down it's actually one of those where you want to go over to the side and down i mean maybe i've seen level architecture like this before but uh it seems unlikely to me anyway so we got a thing and i don't know if i'm going to be able to get it uh unlikely what is it just a bunch of health pickups not the end of the world there's a secret area here but i do not have enough jumps to make it work so let's just go Hop down, find us the boss, and see if we die terribly. Now, uh, I think the next level I'm going to predict is going to be the dark room. We haven't seen the dark room in a while. Is it what? I think it's called the foundry? Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, uh, hello. I don't think I've ever been in this room before. All right, who are we up against? Be oh, it's the big old spike room. But instead of... Ow. Okay. Instead of the usual, it's... Is this. Neat. I like it. Mainly because the thing I like most about the big old spike room is there's always a trick to hurt. Oh, hello. No, there isn't. There's not a trick in this case. In this case, it is just pure death, and I'm, uh, I'm concerned for my life in a lot of ways. Luckily, luckily, the spiky balls don't seem to hit us here, but at the same time, they also block our shots. Luckily, we have enough damage per second that I don't have to worry about it too much. Let's take him out and hope against hope. Yep, floor comes back and we got uh, the ramp. The ramp is functionally use useless. I don't like the death tutu that much because it requires me to be up and close and personal, but at least, I don't know. I've never had good experiences with the ramp. It just doesn't, it doesn't fit well with the level architecture. It needs a little bit more AI. So, hmm, I thought I was in a really good place, you know, uh, shoved in that corner. But turns out that if you shove yourself in the corner, the lava rises and you're in serious uh, trouble as well. Let's go up. And done with the foundry. So apparently the foundry is the one with the lava, which means the armory is... Battle... Oh, we're going to the battlements. I didn't even expect this. So, battlements is actually... I think I mentioned this every time we go to the battlements. Battlements is my favorite. Uh, not because we ever do particularly well in it, though the level design I find kind of cool, but sheerly because you can look up the Tower of Guns, and since the Tower of Guns is probably one of the prettiest, uh, I guess, old-school 3D-style shooters I've played in a very, very long time, that's a flamethrower, which means I need to be concerned about, but I want to get out of the firing range. Okay, so we got a bunch of spiky ball launchers that are all over the place. Ooh, and they took us way down to weapon level 4. Yeah. The spiky ball launchers are probably one of my least favorite enemies because they really do wreck my ability to... Am I going to get any of it? I got some of it. Yeah, 
So spiky bell launchers do a serious number on your weapon level. If you notice, we're barely at weapon level 4, whereas earlier we are almost up to weapon level 6. And we dropped most of that either based on the boss battle, or uh, more so based on spiky ball launchers. So we've got a shit ton of bullets. We are weapon level three now, sucks. But I want to get through here mainly because I wanted to get all the power-ups because at this point we need them. We can't be patient about this. Now I think there's another spiky ball. I'm not entirely sure. Something to be concerned about because these guys are kind of chump change in comparison. And, oh, a bunch of the like mini Corneliuses. Yeah, there's definitely one more spiky ball launcher somewhere nearby. But at this point, these guys are far more threatening to me, even though I can generally outpace them. I guess the other thing that is threatening to me uh, in a fairly equal manner is my own ability to, uh, or my own capacity for self-harm. Why am I not picking up these goddamn pickups? Pissing me off. Oh, that's where they're coming from. So I think that's the end of the Cornelius guys. Let's pick up that one before it goes away. So the spiky ball launchers are right there. Go figure. And that's why I wasn't uh, seeing them or dealing with them because they're just around the corner. And that's why they would only just kind of bounce over. So we've got one pickup. I'm not sure if I'm able to get to it. We're at weapon level four. We're actually almost up to weapon level five, which I'm very thankful for. But most of all, I want to see if I can get this pickup. It's a uh, weapon EXP plus plus. And I think... I think if I jump in the right spots or get to the right place, maybe... Like, I'm so god freaking close. But the problem is, you have to start just slightly over, and it's a pain in the butt to get up. And I think I think I might not be able to get it, which is uh, depressing the hell out of me. Can I? Nope. I'm really hoping I can get myself kind of lodged on the level architecture and get up that way, because I've done it in the past, maybe not in this game so much. It's letting me over. Yes, it worked. Oh, okay, didn't work. I, I thought for a second I had it, but no, what ended up happening was I just got hideously stuck, and it's not one of those that I can take a running jump. Ah, it's almost letting me over. No, ah. All right, so. Yeah, it's just a little bit too far away from the edge, and my jump height is just a little too low. I'm going to have to give it up, and that... That makes me a uh, very sad wanderbot. Oh, well. Well, at least we get this. Oh, hello. Hold on. I might actually be able to sneak, sneak a win out of this in a way. So, with any luck... Yeah, it worked. All right. So, I guess the real trick is just to take an alternate route. Alright, so we got that. We've got blue EXP, or I guess just EXP plus plus, which means our gun will at least level slightly faster. And, or no, we're not about to fight the boss. We're one room away, and it is another massive corridor of uh, projectiles and craziness and death. Now, again, this is one of those where I could just rush through, but it's it would be almost a waste to pass up the sheer amount of stuff you can get from one of these rooms. Let's take out the pizza launchers because they are probably the biggest threat to us in a lot of ways. We've got a bunch of guys chucking stuff down at us, but if I can largely avoid them, I have less to be worried about. Plus, this is also the room with the largest potential for, I guess, crazy drops. In this case, we get a luck plus plus, which is fantastic, and we got a lot of, lot of pickups, which puts us solidly at weapon level 5, almost weapon level 6. And considering the usual boss we fight in this area is uh, the Chomp Bot, I believe. I don't know if we've ever even fought any other bosses. Uh, oh, hello. I am... Oh, this was a mother load today. So we got... We got a store up there, but I have no idea how to get to it. And I don't think we have a high enough jump to do so. But, yeah, that's the kind of thing I will just deal deal with. Because sucks and whatnot. Also, if you're uh, hearing weird noises in the background, that is because the garbage people decided that uh, 2 o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon is the best time to come pick up the trash. Which, I mean, makes sense for me. It's better than 6 in the morning, which is exactly when they would come any time I ever lived in the dorms. Doomball. Oh, hello. So, you know where uh, my projectiles for this gun come from? 
They don't go away, do they? Nope. So, I have to be incredibly mobile right now. And I think I'm just fast enough to largely avoid their shots, which is perfect. But it means I can't get too close to the boss, but I have to constantly be running around. Because if you notice, I stop, I'm in serious trouble. I don't know how I avoided all of those bullets. I don't know how I'm avoiding like half of these things. Oh, he's firing new, new rockets at me or just a faster pace. Oh, hello. Oh, he's almost dead, which means we are home in the clear. How are we full health? How did this happen? What? Okay. So what's this? Uh, I don't know, but it's better than the... Okay, it's the Loot Lubricator, which... Uh, six second Loot Fest. Uh, okay, so I should not have done that. What the Loot Lubricator probably does is either like doubles the effect of the loot you pick up or something like that. I don't know, but you know what? Now we know what it does. So let's go up and see where we're going next. Battlement's complete. It's also probably one of the fastest runs I've ever done. That's one of the reasons why I like the Battlement so much. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to look up. Oh well. So the, one of the reasons why I like the Battlement so much is the levels are small. Where are we? Listen to that music. What the shit? Where the hell am I? What? In God's name, where am I? Is this, is this the reason behind Hugbot Love? Is this why? I didn't kill all those Hugbots. I, I'm in hell. I'm in, I'm in this like weird digital hell. And I, I, I'm so tempted, like the last run, I found the secret area and it, it was so tempting. And I, 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 too many goddamn Hugbots. Hugbot love is over. There's no Hugbot love. There's just Hugbot death. Hugbots, at EXP plus plus, we will be the destroyer of worlds. We will be the death of the tower. I have lost it at this point. This is just nonsense and the music is driving me insane. That's a lot of music and a lot of power-ups and I feel so bad right now. But, but, look at, look at all this stuff. Look at it all. Look at it. Is this, this is, this is the reward. If only I had uh, Taco Terra, things would be amazing. But as it stands, things are just slightly less amazing, but still. Holy crap. You know, I, I bet the boss for this level if you don't kill all the Hugbots... Oh, you know what? I should have used the Loot Lubricator. Oh, well. If there are more Hugbots in the next room, great. And if there aren't, well, damn. What the hell? You know, Joe, if you're watching this, or watch this ever at some point, thank you. I don't understand. Bubbles. Coins. More music. And an item. And you know what? It's, it's like the power glove. It's the captain's belt. I... Oh, yes. I accept whatever it is. We've got a lot of these dudes lying around. You know what? <sighs> Murderous Rampage. Murderous Rampage. So, I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna continue Hugbot Love Part 3. And we will see what happens if I... If, like, this stage pops up again and I don't kill everything. Because that might actually have a wildly different effect. But considering the fact that I am geared to the teeth at this point, and I assume the captain's belt does something fairly useful, it'd be interesting to see. Maybe I'd be squandering my opportunities. But you know what? Operation Hugbot Love, wild success. Death. Death. Death for the good. Death for the bad. Death for all. Ah, it's a hugbot. He survived. He survived. All right, in all seriousness, though, uh, enough with me kind of role-playing a completely madman, even though this music is driving me to madness. <laughs> um, this is really cool. I like this. The addition of just, like, a secret area that probably only pops up. Yeah, hugbot alley. Stage complete. Amazing. So, uh, just the sheer inclusion of that makes me happy.
Because it's kind of like you're practically prompted to kill the Hugbots in all the other levels. Everybody's just saying more bro. Everybody's speaking in bro. This is like... This is the run where everything just goes nuts. The Hugbots uh, reward me, Joe rewards me, uh, the NPCs talking nothing but bros the time I'm finally ready to read. Oh, it's a health pickup too. Awesome. We got a couple of ET launchers and whatnot. But yeah, just the inclusion of the Hugbot Alley, the like kind of celebratory, uh, you know, number 20 run room and just all of that stuff. And I like it. And maybe uh, you get like a celebratory uh, level 10 room as well, but I don't think I can even get up there. Oh, well, shame. But you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. And I have I have begged plenty now. Where the crap am I? So we've got this and that's a gun mod. And we've got... We've got enough money for whatever it is. Rapid. Oh. Okay. So now we have rapid shot. Super... Oh, jeez. We might actually... Oh, fuck. Shits. This is a problem. So, um... You know how uh, I hate these rooms with the launcher things? So, I actually have no idea how to really navigate these rooms, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. And I also can't see what's shooting at us, which bites. They're like right above me, but not... Oh, jeez. So, what I more or less have to do is aim my mouse in the direction I want to go, just to get there, which could be interesting. We made it. And we got a purple teleporter, and I see a jump hype booster that I can actually probably get to. Yeah, yeah, I got it. And I got a health pickup too. So there are probably enemies down there that are trying to kill me. Maybe? From the angle I'm in? Whatever, don't care. Don't want to deal with it either. Let's, I'm just gonna peer down to see if there's anything else like semi-secret. No, and I don't care because I really don't want to tango with a extremely tall corridor like that. It feels like there should be something secret in here, too. But again, this is one of those that I can't tilt no matter what, so if I get myself in a semi-compromising location, I'm probably screwed. But looks like we're golden. All right, let's get through the door. And, ooh, this is a, no, it's a hallways. Holy shit. This kind of crap again. So, absolutely have to take out that thing before it just like murders our face and we've got a bunch of these guys and hopefully after a while they stop and I believe they do good they seem to have except for that one come on come on there we go they have uh, flying shit everywhere so we've got something at the end of that hallway something at the end of this hallway luckily I've got rapid fire and crazy splash because apparently when you get this gun up to max the splash damage goes insane. Now, we are down to weapon level 4. We're not even in 5 or max yet, which, I mean, sucks a little bit. But, you know what? Well, that that's just... At this point, this is, like, fated to win, and if we don't win against the Gumball Launcher, I'm going to be sad. Now, the one, I guess, downside to this run is we don't have a way of healing, unless the Captain's Belt does something a lot better than I thought it would. But it's one of those where I don't want to use the Captain's Belt until I'm in a... Locate, not a location, but a situation that it would be useful for. The problem is the last room we were in, using the captain's belt would have been kind of pointless because we couldn't even see the enemies we were... Oh, hello, sneaky. Sneaky? Yes. All right, so I found a secret area. So I'm going to try and kind of like wedge myself up here. Okay, perfect. Now, with my added jump height, yeah, let us up. So I don't know if there's actually even anything up here or if it's just kind of like a trick to confuse me but it feels like there should be something in one of these upper tubes. Because, well, why else let me in here? I'm going to figure out... Oh, hello. Here we go. We're up to weapon level max. Yeah, with wa rapid fire. I was going to say rapid fire, but I am no Elmer Fudd. I mean, I, ge I guess you could con uh, compare me to Elmer Fudd. I've got a massive gun. I'm, I'm, I'm not specifically trying to take out a wascally rabbit, but, you know, if there was a you know, major boost to me at this point in Tower of Guns, I would uh, 
I would go on uh, the wabbit patrol and take all, out all the wabbits. We got, I think, a guy shooting at me up above. Yep, we got a couple of ET launchers. Now, the fact that we got rapid fire more or less means we can circle strafe. Well, not even circle strafe. We can just strafe back and forth and just murder the crap out of uh, really everything. So we got a mystery box and an armor boost. And I'm most excited about the armor boost because that's one thing we really haven't picked up a lot of this run. And what we get? Blue EXP rate minus minus. Not so good, but when it comes down to it, we already had a plus plus, so it at least breaks even uh, and doesn't disadvantage us terribly. So we've got a purple teleporter, and at this point, those things scare me, but we also have a couple of these boxes. So let's figure out what's up here. Looks like a shop. I should still have a crazy amount of money. Okay, it's a health boost. Awesome, because we're always going to need these because we're getting think this is the level with the gumball machine in. I think we're actually at the end game at this point. But it doesn't look like there's anything else here, so let's head back for the purple teleporter and figure out where that brings us. And again, can't use tilt because, well, seems to be the not end of the world, but uh, definitely the end of a run. Okay, so there's the door, and I don't see any secrets, and I really don't feel like spelunking too much. Again, because of the glaring problem with the purple teleporters. Hey, it's one of these rooms again. They concern me, because, well, unless you uh, blitz for the side, you might be in serious trouble. And even then, you might be in serious trouble. And we're already down to weapon level 4, and they're shit shooting at us, and we took a lot of damage. So, there are definitely cannon things somewhere dropping spiky balls. There's a pizza launcher, there's a lot of lanterns. Oh, right, they're up here. So they've been taken care of for the most part. There's a shop. There are a bunch of weapon pickups, and this might actually be the second to last area. I, ne I never quite remember, so I don't even know who that was. Oh, you're not dead yet either. So, yeah, we're back down to weapon level 4, up to weapon level 5. It's going to be kind of a borderline thing, because this gun, gun seems to de-level very quickly and very easily. So let's take out that guy. Now, I don't think there's going to be any way we're going to be able to get up there, because even though we have triple jump and a jump height plus... That's not enough to make the difference. Oh, speed pickup. Bonus. So what do we got? Magnetism. Not ideal, but you know what? We've got crazy money, so it would be stupid not to buy everything and anything we possibly could. Now, there's a pickup over there that I don't think we're going to get just because we're too late because I wasn't paying attention, but... Okay, so we've got one more boss, I believe, before the final boss, I think. It looks like it. Yep. Oh, um... Is this boss again? The Egg Scrambler. Which... Oh, right. Comes down from above and then links links up. So the, I find the Egg Scrambler to be one of the cooler bosses. Now, we don't have as much defense as I would like in fighting this boss, but it looks like it's one of those where I'm going to be my own greatest enemy. I also do crazy damage, so with any luck, I should be able to just take off massive chunks of the boss's health. Ow. Okay, I was getting crunched a little bit there, and I was actually feeling it, which is cool. Now, this is also one of those bosses that if you're clever about it, and I do have enough magnetism, I can actually get in there and um, get health pickups from the orbs you kill, which not uh, not what I want to rely on, but hello. Mm. Come on, come on. Come to Betsy. Come to Yeah, there we go. I guess Papa, come to Papa. I don't know. My, my phrases in this are always going to be just a little confused. We've got one more of these things. Thankfully, thankfully, they don't seem to... Man, that one went away. Right, I do have to watch out for the hitboxes on these spiky things because they don't seem nearly as round as they are. Also, you can't shoot the upper thing. You have to shoot the yellow thing. Oh, well. I should probably back up just a little bit. Nope, still hit myself yet. Yeah. I seem to be my own worst enemy as far as this boss goes. Oh, there's a health pickup. And he's gone gold, which means... I still have to take... Oh, he just went gold because he exploded. There we go. So, I am losing health. I'm not doing nearly as well as the previous time I ever fought this boss. But, you know what? I will just deal with it and uh, really hope I can take it out. Yeah, he's doing a lot more damage than he used to. Or at least... I don't know. Hard to tell. But it's one of those where I have to make sure I don't hit myself. Because that seems to be the uh, easiest way I'm going to die. Nope. I think he got some kind of upgrade or I had a lot more... Yeah, there we go. <sighs> that sucks. I don't know how I withstood the Egg Scrambler just so successfully the previous time. Maybe my armor... Oh. 
I was right. So, um, so my armor was much more substantial than the previous one, which uh, made it so the egg scrambler did less damage. Something else. Notice my hugbot kills. 64. Notice my final difficulty. 166. You know what killed me there? Hugbot love. So it looks like, and this isn't ever stated as far as I can tell, and I could be wrong about this, but usually I'm not even up to le difficulty level like 80 or 90 at this point, meaning the difficulty is directly tied to how many hugbots you kill. I'm more than willing to bet on that. Which is a shame, but you know what? That was a really good run regardless. I'm, I'm proud of what happened there because we saw many new things and that makes me very happy. We saw, you know, the kind of victory room, we saw the doom ball, and we saw the hugbot chamber, which was awesome. Now, unfortunately, this does mean I will be going through the hugbot chamber many, many more times because I'm probably never going to kill another hugbot ever in this game. Oh, well. Kind of cool regardless. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next episode of Tower of Guns. Hugbot Love Part 3. Actually, really, it's just Hugbot Love Forever. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the Peas and Carrots Pistol. We're going to go see what a Peas and Carrots Pistol on Taco Terror does. Alright, so, I'll see you guys next time. As always, thanks for watching.